What's up guys? So today I am outside of Moonrose yet again for the third time. I'm going to be taking on my third and final challenge during my trip to Tochigi Prefecture. So let's get inside. I am waiting for the challenge to arrive and uh, I gotta say I am super hungry right now. I haven't eaten since the last challenge yesterday. But having said that, my body doesn't really feel like it's in top shape to compete just because I've done like two back-to-back -back challenges and this will be the third my body kind of feels like it's had enough but regardless I'm still really looking forward to this I was looking up online about the details of this parfait and the shop owner just like gets random stuff and just chucks it in anything goes really so I'm really looking forward to trying this out I'm not super confident well one because I said my body wasn't in really good shape but also because this is the biggest challenge that I've ever done so I'm not really expecting to win this I'm still gonna try my very best um, I'm just trying to be realistic here and though I don't think that I will win I still really want to do this challenge just for the sake of giving it a shot and then, you know as a foodie and someone that loves sweets I didn't want to pass this opportunity up so I'm just gonna wait patiently and I'll see you when it arrives here it comes check out how freaking enormous that is this definitely feels like 4.6 kilos. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know how this is gonna fit in my stomach. Like, just to check that out. But I've got 30 minutes to try and get all of this inside of me. This is called the Mystery Parfait. Um, as you can see, there's waffles, cones, cookies, biscuits, cream puffs, fruits, ice cream, a big layer of waffles down here, and cereal. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to dig in. I'm just gonna wait for the owner to come around to start the challenge. Okay, yeah. Yes. Mmm, wow. This flower thing is really good. Welcome back to another video. Today we are taking on a 4.6 kilo half day challenge. Here I've gone straight for one of the uh, waffle cones because I personally really love them, but Sadly, the ones in this challenge were really stale and disappointing. Instead of having that nice, hard, crispy texture, it was quite floppy and flaccid, to say the least. These darker brown waffle pieces, whatever they are, uh, these ones tasted better though. This is like every dessert of its dream. This didn't need to just nicely box of random sweets. I'm sorry, Bunny, but I'm gonna have to demolish you. Wow, this bunny is really good. It's like a cake with lots of whipped cream in it. Mm. I gotta stop enjoying this. So, as the video progresses, you notice a theme here, which is that um, I'll pretty much be constantly eating nothing but cake. Um, but isn't this a parfait challenge, I hear you asking? Um, well, that's kind of my point, which is that uh, yet again, for the second time in a row, this restaurant has um, been caught out for its false advertising. Yesterday's challenge was supposed to be a waffle tower, but instead I got a cake tower. Today's challenge was supposed to be a giant parfait, but instead I got a literal bucket of cake. So in order to eat at a high speed, I'm pretty much taking a sip of water with every bite of cake. I 
this is like the cake shop's entire menu in one bucket. So after the challenge, I was um, exploring the cake shop and I noticed that all of the cakes on their front display was actually what I ate in the challenge which kind of sucked because when I imagined a parfait I imagined a lot of ice cream uh, but sadly there wasn't much ice cream today uh, just a lot of dry ingredients like cones, wafers, cake, too much cake What the fuck? I'm only a third of the way into the time, but I don't think I've eaten a third. It's kind of crazy watching myself just shovel spoonful after spoonful of cake. It just kind of shows you how much I really love cake to be able to do that. <laughs> but then again, who doesn't love cake? Here I picked up one of those cake waffles and I immediately put it back down because it was so dry and I wanted to avoid eating it at all costs. I'm eating a pretty interesting pink strawberry cake here. There's quite a few flavors in here. I do remember a really good matcha cake amongst the mix. It's a truffle ball. Oh man. It was not good. I'm feeling full. Like, not completely, but I feel like some kind of stretch in my stomach. So far, I've been eating nothing but cake. Mm. Ah, this is like the cake shop's version of a parfait. I want to reach the bottom to the cereal part. But in order to reach said cereal, I've got a whole shit ton of cake to pile through. Halfway through time, I get the Perfect timing. I'm not even halfway through this. I'm way out of my depth here. Oh, much needed fruit. There's so many waffles and I'm avoiding them because I had so many yesterday. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was still suffering from waffle PTSD by this stage. Oh yes! I think I found the ice cream. Get out of the way, you waffle. It's ridiculous oh how many waffles are in there. I found a crap ton, a crap ton of cream and ice cream. I hit the jackpot. It's pretty impossible for me to finish this in 13 minutes. You want to that I'm using my own background music this time. The last video had way too much Disney music. I reckon I'm only halfway. And editing the video with that music drove me crazy. So I wasn't gonna do it again for this one. Plus, Persona 5 music just bangs. Oh, slice of cake. So many waffles! Wow. <laughs> and I did a waffle challenge yesterday. I actually can't help but laugh at myself while I watch myself go through these past two days of waffle hell. Ten more minutes. I'm actually getting grateful. So, I can't do this. No, it's physically impossible to complete this in 10 minutes, so I'm gonna try and enjoy it. Now, 
all I want to do is get all these waffles out of the way so I can find the bits that I like. What is Zuri about? Oh, I found some. <coughs> it's like little bits of cake back on my throat. Yeah, I'm really sure that I could have taken on a legit 4.6 kilo parfait challenge if it was actually a parfait, but unfortunately I just had a cake challenge today. Usually you would expect a parfait to have a lot of ice cream, you know, some fruits and other miscellaneous stuff, but the main ingredient has to be ice cream. A non-ice cream parfait is just sacrilegious. Trees into humanity. So, yeah, as I was saying, so this is like mostly cake, and there's just a little bit of ice cream. We went from like 9% chance of success to like straight up zero. My stomach feels so cool right now. Oh wow. Getting like surprised by something new. You got a really good pudding in this. I keep running into these truffle balls. There's like a hundred of them in here or something. I mean, they're good. I'm not through it right now. The truffle balls were great, but they were so cold from whatever ice cream was in there, and they were really hard and hard to eat. I remember biting them and having to use so much force that it would hurt my teeth. I thought I found the cereal. Here's another damn truffle ball. Here we go. I found the cornflakes. I have to dig real deep. Finally. What's the moment I've been waiting for? What does that look like from the front? From the front, it looks like I've done nothing, but. I have like... I can't show it. I need a minute. I can notice that I'm really slowing down at this stage. And I really want to underscore how tough it is to do food challenges three days straight in a row. All of a sudden, I feel so sick. I think the past three days of sweets has finally caught up to me. Uh, I'm so defeated by this bucket. <sighs> and that is the end. That's not so the challenge is a bust. I knew from the start, but that's okay. It looks like I only made like half of it, so I barely made it then. There's so many waffles in there. And there's nowhere to displace them. So I keep pushing them aside and they keep falling down and covering everything else. I don't know if I'm reaching my my capacity limit, or if like my body just simply doesn't want to eat anymore. But uh, I don't think I can eat too much more of this. So I'm just gonna continue digging a hole to get to the cereal, which is the part that I want to put most. Don't mind me, freaking waffles. 
things anymore. Yeah. I really hope that I can get this taken away. Yeah, this would be such a waste. Like, like already in Japan, like you don't like, really leave your food behind. You know, and when you do, you feel like really, really bad about it. Um, until like leave behind this much food, I would feel like such a piece of shit. So I really hope that I can get this taken away. But I think I've really reached the point of flavor fatigue. It's taken like, like 7 kilos of sweets for me to get sick of them. But it did happen. Now my body is like rejecting it. And I'm actually feeling like super sick. I'm gonna give it like a few more minutes. I'm gonna try and enjoy these complaints. sick at the last second. But yeah, the past two days and the beginning of this parfait was like so much fun. Um, thanks for joining in and I will catch you next time.